Today I'm gonna show you how I will convert my existing Windows 10 installation to virtual box and virtual machine. For this purpose, I'm gonna use free tool from Microsoft website. And this tool, what what do? Uh, basically, convert all information located on disk C to virtual hard disk and virtual hard disk is Microsoft uh, format for virtual machine but when you do this type of operation you need to be aware that uh, maximum virtual disk size is only 127 gigabytes and this is sometimes is not uh, okay when you have a large uh, disk or SSD drive but in my case I have only 80 gigabyte of disk and everything should be okay I want to convert my existing C drive to virtual machine and after this operation I will remove Windows and install Linux Mint I already downloaded this tool and downloaded it into the desktop folder now I will extract it and start the program with this tool VHD 64.exe run as administrator now we have a pop-up with license agree and now the program asks us what which partition we like to create to virtual hard drive I'm gonna select only C drive and this um, of volumes that are coming with uh, Windows 10 installation now I will now it's time to change the directory the, where where we want to save virtual disk because I don't have space on C drive I will put it into the second drive and I will generate new folder like this open save and it is very important to remove this checkbox by this way this tool will generate this format and easily we are gonna import it to virtual box now it's time to press create button I'm gonna pause this video now after the program is finished around 20 minutes I'm gonna close the window and from my C drive which is around 80 gigabytes now we have generated new file with a size around 60 gigabytes now it's time to open virtual box 
and from the buttons we're gonna select new or new virtual machine I'm gonna give the name Windows 10 and you need to select where to save new created virtual machine let me see where I have space I still have at least 100 gigabytes in this D and I'm gonna create like so this stands from virtual machine win windows 10 virtual hard drive where we store the image okay now we're gonna select next and we're gonna give around ten gigabytes of ram and for example four cpus after creation of the virtual machine you can easily change these settings accordingly by your specific needs most important step is this when we gonna select second options use uh, an ex existing virtual hard disk and we need to browse I need to resize this and we need to add new created image from this folder select file open and now press the choose button okay now press next and this is the summary for new created virtual machine when i press finish we see the from left side Windows 10 virtual machine and now we need to start the machine from this button okay we have an error we need the virtual machine failed to boot operation system I'm gonna skip this error message Hmm. Maybe it's time to Google it and to see where is the problem. Now, after the restart, I will try to run again VirtualBox. And of course, nothing work. 
again. Again. Let me see what I'm missing here. Um, system. Uh, I will try with these two options. So we have some kind of progress. I'm still hoping that this is gonna work. Okay, process finish for checking the hard drive. Now I'm hoping that Windows 10 we're gonna start up okay i think now the virtual machine is uh, restarting okay now the windows 10 starts and i'm gonna close this window Try to log in. All right, now we have, I think, working virtual machine. But the speed is slow because uh, my second uh, hard drive is a regular disk with uh, that spins. It's not a SSD drive. Okay, let me see the task manager. The next thing that is mandatory to do is go from go to VirtualBox settings and from device we need to install guest, uh, guest additional cd image by this way we're gonna install only the drivers to use full uh, display resolution and every hardware like usb devices uh, will work properly I think I've closed the pop-up window, sorry. Come on, why you are so slow? All right, here's the CD with the guest editions. Um, it is located on uh, like a regular uh, CD drive or CD-ROM and now we 
need to run this executable program i think this is it is uh, first executable okay right click and run as administrator okay next next install now we need to reboot the virtual machine and everything should be working fine after that Okay, after restart, we can set the display resolution to be much higher. My monitor is 4K, but for purpose of this video, I will set it to Full HD resolution only. Hmm. What is this strange resolution? okay and by this way you can convert existing machine with windows 10 to virtual machine and easy reuse this virtual machine to other computers i forgot to mention that uh, when we create uh, cloning in this folder uh, it is not good idea to delete this um, folder because uh, new created virtual machine will put in the second folder all system uh, files that need to properly work this virtual machine and this first folder acts like a hard drive and all the information is stored here even when you add a new folder new files and folders so in this case virtual machine takes 60 gigabytes and my actual windows 10 installation is taking only let me put it like this sixty three they are almost the same thanks for watching